She's gone viral for taking her message to the streets of Baltimore. This now has over 5 million views. And her recent political ad went absolutely viral. The ad has been viewed nearly 10 million times. One of the most talked about political ads of the year. GOP congressional candidate Kim Klasik, whose first digital ad went viral, released a sequel yesterday. What Kim is doing, it will break the Democratic stranglehold on black voters. I think Republicans have just given up trying to run urban America. They have not tried, so the Democrats have been able to do whatever they wanted. How are you going to change things? Kim Klasik ran for Congress, not in a ruby red district where she would have been guaranteed to win. That takes courage. Well, we can't write off these cities. Um, a, a lot of people think that in the inner city, people vote down ballot for Democrats, but you know they don't really have any options that come into play. I've asked people all the time, you know, what do we have to do to make you vote for a Republican or at least consider us? And they always say, you know, you're the first Republican I've ever met. The Red Renaissance begins now. Here we come. I'm here to support Kim, the Renaissance and Red Renaissance. I'm so excited to be here because Kim has been the only one who have set out to help us, truly help us. And I think it's time that all of us get together as we're doing today, which is what was needed to begin with, because together we're stronger. right going into 2022 but at the same time you know it's very tough for a lot of candidates to get their profile raised right in this kind of political arena and so for me you know I was running in Baltimore District 7 I had a viral campaign ad thanks to Arsenal Media but even after that viral campaign ad the GOP still didn't want to give me the time of day because you said you're in a D plus 30 district and I quote Jesus Christ as a Republican cannot win that seat. And that was after my campaign ad went viral. So I said, you know what? I'm going to raise my money on my own. Duh. <laughs> and so we did. And thanks to you guys in this room, thanks to all of our donors and supporters across this country, thanks to President Trump and his kids. We raised $8.4 million. But I do want to say that none of this could be possible, of course, without you guys. everybody coming down here. I haven't seen a lot of these guys since we were in CPAC, which was an amazing time. That's where I first met Willie and Alex Duvall and people like that. So to see them tonight, to be here to support Kim is really a true honor. And I look forward to really being the change we want to see and doing some amazing things over the next year and a half.